and tributes throughout the morning to Ray, who was a great, great player. But as everybody, I'm sure you're listening to, is saying, a great man as well. We'll hear from those who knew him and loved him, including former Chelsea captain John Terry. Bob Mills and Simon Jordan are both with me here in studio. Good morning, chaps. Good morning, Jim. Good to have you along. We'll be hearing from them very shortly. As I said, some of the biggest names in the game, as well as the not-so-big, have paid tribute to Ray, whose family announced his passing yesterday. And he will be missed by a great many people around the world. And he'll be missed by many great footballers as well, past and present. And maybe none better than this fella. It's good morning, Paul Gascoigne. Good morning, Paul. Good morning, Jimmy. All right, Paul. I am, Paul. Thank you very much indeed for for joining us on TalkSport this morning. Uh, Bob and Simon are with me and would both like to say hi to you. Morning, Paul. Uh, Hi to both. Hello, Hello, mate. Now, Paul, you... Paul, you and I spoke last night, and um, it wasn't long after uh, the, the news was announced about the passing of Ray Wilkins, and, and you were pretty down, as was I. What, what was your reaction when you, you heard the news yesterday, Paul? Well, I knew he took it a few days ago, and uh, I was worried down because, I mean, such a great guy. I met him loads of times, played against him. I was just in shock, really, like anybody else, you know. Sometimes you think... You know, you don't really appreciate someone until they've gone. Well, he was well appreciated when he was alive, to be fair. Uh, he had time for everybody. Just, it's, it's incredible. You, you, uh, you know, he's so young as well. Yeah, you you and I were talking about him as a player as well. And, and he influenced you, didn't he? Yeah, well, you know, I used to watch players when I was younger. And I, I learned the Johan Cruyff term when I watched the Johan Cruyff term. And I always remember when you were taught about it, when he... Uh, that one in the cup final when he kicked come inside and bend it with his left foot. And I always watched the way he swung his right arm when he bent it with his left foot. And I went, in, I went straight away out of the street and saw Patterson that. And I think that's one of the reasons why he you know, scored quite a few goals for me left foot, you know. Um, <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he, he encouraged you to play. Had the ball, so. Yeah, yeah. You were saying he encouraged you to play with, and use your left foot more. Yeah, definitely. Without a doubt, because he was right, right footed, you know. Uh, but he had a great uh, sweet left foot on him, but when I see him score that in the, in the, in the FA Cup final, uh, when he bent it with his left foot, I just looked at his right arm, the way he swung his right arm first, which gave him balance to use his left foot. I went out and practiced that, and it, it worked a trick, you know. But every time I met him, he you know, he's always asking how I was. He wasn't bothered about himself or anybody else. You know, he was always, he just perked everybody up every time you see him. He's such a gentleman. It's unbelievable. I think I think Paul's right, Simon and Bob. Paul, stay with us, but he just perked everybody up. Paul could not have put that any better. That's exactly what Ray Wilkins did. He was just a very, you know, a very elegant man in lots of ways. You know, I I tweeted something yesterday, which I think I my my reaction to it was I was choked, and I can't find another word to 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 describe it. There's a lot of emotivity, but I mean, I met Ray on many occasions. I he, I knew him relatively well because. His uh, his brother-in-law is a very good friend of my ex. Also, obviously, he was the assistant manager at Millwall, and one of my best friends at the time owned Millwall. So Ray was often in my boardroom. Yeah. So I saw, and, and I, I had this hatred of being called young man because I was so young when I bought Palace, and the only person I would ever take being called young man from was, was Ray, Ray, Wilkins. Ray Wilkins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paul, last night I saw pictures on television of the great Franco Baresi. In, in Milan, holding up a Ray Wilkins Milan shirt. I mean, some of the biggest names in football are deeply affected by Ray's passing, Paul. Yeah, I think I, I followed Ray. I, played for, I followed him at England. I followed him at England and I followed him at Italy. Um, but, you know, I remember years ago, there was uh, I was playing against them and the papers were all writing, you know, who to play for England, whether it be Gaza or Ray Wilkins. And I thought, right, and... And I got myself right up for the game, and I thought I'll get the better of him today. I swear to <laughs> I did get a touch. He passed <laughs> it. Honestly, I couldn't get the ball off him. He was shielding the I learned how to shield the ball from him. He used to sit his... When he got close to him, he used to stick his backside into you, so you couldn't get near him, you know? Um, it was just quality. And I, I remember he always said to me, you know, whatever you do, never give the ball away. Never give the ball away, you know? And I worked on that as well, you know? One of my main points is trying not to give the ball ever away away again, you know, and he always said treat the ball like a diamond I mean, would you give a diamond away? No um, I suppose I have in, have in the past <laughs> Yeah. But, Here, but, here's uh, Simon, Paul. Paul Paul, when you went to Italy, obviously Ray had been one of the trailblazers that had gone to Italy early in his career, did you get any sense of how the Italians regarded him in their football? Um, 
I knew they were crazy for the football until, you know, when I went over there, they have eight newspapers just solely on football, you know, but I remember watching Ray play when he was over there, Miss Milan, you know, he was fantastic. For someone like the Razzie to hold a shirt up in all of their Ray Wilkins is fantastic. And, like, you know, even at Glasgow Rangers, you have to look what the team or players went there and all that. And when you see someone like Ray Wilkins go to Glasgow Rangers, then you see the fans there. The fans are incredible at Glasgow Rangers. You know, he's worshipped up there. And so obviously to take his place in midfield was uh, the pressure was on already, I suppose. But um, yeah, it's such a so sad, really. You know, yeah. lost for words sometimes. You know, I'm I'm normally not lost for words, but regards someone like Ray, you know, it's, it's incredible. No, it's good to hear your words on this this morning, Paul. Paul, you touched on Glasgow. We're getting tweets in from Rangers fans, but also from Celtic fans, and you would expect that because it's Ray. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. I mean, certain fans, I mean, obviously I didn't like playing the hobbies because um, they hated each other. <laughs> but, you know, unfortunately for the Celtic fans, I have to say, like, I played in 11 games, I'm beating 11. So that was good for me. But the, the Celtic fans, even when I was up, they were very, very, very good to us, you know. Um, I don't have any problems with anybody. Never have done, you know. Even all through my career, I never turned down a photograph or an autograph for anybody. I just feel like I'm one of them, you know. Yeah, um, so and I think Ray was the same. I, yeah, and I think that it was really nice to fans to appreciate such a, a such not just a great great player, but a great person. That's what he was, you know. He was an unbelievable person. I didn't I didn't think he ever swore, not like me, but he never swore. And, <laughs> oh, and I think always, you, I think he could swear, Paul. I heard him swear a few times. <laughs> I think he, you're the lucky one. Then. <laughs> but, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, just. Just as a man and a person, must be an unbelievable loss for his family, you know. And I mean, in regards go to them, no regards, but the best wishes go out to them, you know. And um, I'm thinking of them as well as Ray, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Did did he give you a bit of strength, Paul, when you were down? Somebody like Ray Wilkins, if you heard him on on Talk Sport or if you saw him on yeah. Sky Sport, did he give you a bit of incentive to? Oh, I can get through this. I'm going to get through this spell I'm having yeah. at the moment. It's funny because. Two of the last times I've seen him was in airports, and obviously I, I wasn't the best for where, that's for sure. And he always pulled us aside, you know. But he pulled us aside away from everyone and his family, own family, to the other ball, you know. You know where you're heading if you carry on. And, the, you know, the, the sport and sense, and he said, you know, you can easily do it. Um, obviously, he's hard being an alcoholic, but he always helped me because that way as well as the football side of it. Yeah. You know, he always had time to pull us aside and talk about how was everything, how was the football you know, you get through this. And even every darkest times when I was down, um, whenever I bumped him, it was the first thing he said was, you know, get yourself well. And for someone like him, you know, to step, pull us aside and just have a word, you know, it meant a hell of a lot. Yes, I, absolutely. That, I can know. imagine. Yeah, I can see that, Paul. And Paul, listen, uh, I, I, I'm going to get you to sum up on Ray in a second. T- tell the listeners, the, the many, many talk sport listeners all around the country and around the world at the moment, how are you? How's Paul Gascoigne? Yeah, I'm good. I'm really well. I'm, I'm looking after myself. I love myself for once. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> else does now. Um, you know, I've I, I obviously got the Twitter as well and um, hasn't had it going long, but the amount of people that have wished as well and that is incredible. You don't, you don't realise that until you actually see it, you know. I know yeah. when... When I feel down, all I do is just walk down the high street and say hello to a lot of people. They come up and they really, really, um, really wish me well in that, which is nice to, you know, I've always had that, but sometimes I don't realise it myself, you know. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I appreciate everybody's um, support and help I have done, you know. Even when I played, uh, even the Wave fans, you know, I haven't got a problem with them. Um, and it's really nice to get the support, you know. You're right, Paul. I see you on Twitter now, and I, re- I read some of your tweets. I'm not sure where some of them are going. It's a, it's a wonderful adventure to read them, but it, listen, it's you, and that's why we love you. Yeah, I honestly, to be fair, I didn't even know where I'm going. <laughs> and I'm Jim, where does he get, the get these gags from? Paul, where do you get these endless gags from? Yeah, the gags are great. I just come out and some of, some of them must have been are, are crap, like, but... I just <laughs> but it's hundreds of them, Paul. <laughs> I want to see... You know, I, when I play football, I like the way players up or whatever, so... When I go on Twitter, um, I do some bad jokes just to see how many people I can wind up. <laughs> and but, people, you know, I, I get some stick back and I don't mind, I love it. Good. Listen, Gaza, I, I, I just want you to sum up your feelings this morning then. A, a final word on, on Ray Wilkins. What what would be your final your, your final words, your final memory today as, you, as uh, you leave us and get on with your day? But 
just leave it to you. What, what do you want to say about Ray? Um, just to Ray, um, sorry you passed away, mate. Um, what an unbelievable person and even better player. You know, um, as some of um, you know, my regards go to your family and you'll be sorely missed by everybody in this world, especially myself. Lots of love. Oh, 